Power Nation, we are here today to bring you a review of the Firefly system. Now, we're going to go through is I haven't even opened this box yet, so I'm not sure what you can look at. One thing I did do was I did load up the Firefly app on the phone. This is the iPhone 6S Plus, if you're wondering. Um, what we will do is go through, we'll read what's included here. You'll see it is a shoot fire directly from your smart device. This is an introduction for it. Included the firing module, connected with 15 fireworks, eight one meter reusable cables with igniter clips, seven three meter reusable cables with igniter clips. So we have eight three footers, then we got seven three meters, which is basically around nine feet. So uh, we've got some long ones and shorter ones. Of course, you can then definitely space out how far away things are. A little look see how the system will look right there. So let's open this up. Hi, right, it says batteries are already installed. Thank you from the individual who uh, contacted me. A little manual, probably instructions, tell you how to use everything. Pop it out. It's got some weight to it. So batteries are already installed. Uh, I'm guessing your connection points, yep. You see, I don't know if you can see on the actually where your reusable igniter is gonna be plugging into. Inside 15 total, five in each side. Power button. Alright, so here is your reusable igniters. Looks pretty simple in terms of use. Uh, I guess I'm just quickly just gonna plug into the side of them. Take one apart real quick. A little zip tie. So, there you go. Like this end's just gonna plug right into here, just like that. Let's take a look at this igniter real quick. All right, so, get a little closer here for you. A little look at it. A point right there, fuse, you can see. A notch here, fuse is going to be sitting in this point right here. It's going to heat up there. This is going to clip, so your fuse will be stuck in that hole right there. You'll be connected to your firework. All right. So let's pause this video. I'll pick it up. We'll look more through this manual and go through the phone, actually opening up the app for the first time. All right, so we're back. So again, here is, you know, this is your little closing claps for the door. Uh, your heating coil, which your fuse. And now we have here is fast fuse, which some people will use if you like a pod. As you see, I have these all set up here. Let me move this back a little bit. Uh, I have disattached them all, so you can see here uh, uh, how this is going to work. Is you got your smaller ones for one meter. And of course, you can see by a lot more coil, you have a lot more wire here to be longer ones. What you want to do is you want to make sure they're kind of crisscross in terms of shorter up front. Longer one, you get put out farther because you don't want to have the cakes too close together. It's always nice to have them separate because uh, when you start up a fuse, if something is exposed or you have stuff too close, it could set it off. So you just want to give yourself enough space. So I usually alt almost alternated, you know, short, long, short, long, short, long, just to have it spread out a little more even. So you kind of build a half circle stuff closer than the outer circle would be, you know, more stuff but farther away. Larger items, maybe smaller items in here, larger items in the back for like a finale. Uh, but what we're going to do here is some people will use a quick fuse. We know pyro do use quick fuse, especially with 15 cues. You might do like a pod, which is several items fused together that will get set off by one fuse over here. Set this off. You have another board over here with several cakes fused together and so on and so on. 15 cues. So basically, your fuse would sit in that little door like this, class. It's actually really snug, but that's how that would be. So then you'd basically use your phone and set it off. But if you're connecting right to the firework itself, so your firework would be here, you're basically gonna sit it over the green fuse. You can see it's right there. What's nice is you'd be able to open it and you can see it, making sure it is placed over the coil, like that. Close, clasp. And that's actually, it's got a nice little grip on it, so it should not slide off very easily at all. But then let's say that's a connected to your cake, which we'll show once we have some stuff set up outside. We'll do some fountains. But uh, that's how that would connect. Again, you'd set it off. 
These are, again, they are reusable. They show you should cotton swab. You just want to clean off real gently. Um, if it doesn't ignite, you know, go back and look at it, make sure it is cleaned off if you're reusing and reusing and reusing. Uh, the system does use D batteries. There's eight of them on the bottom here. You take this off, they'll be in there. They say eight batteries will get you up to 300 ignitions, which is quite well because most people only use this probably one time a year for being a backyard pyro. For being a backyard pyro. So, but I would suggest if you leave the batteries in, that change them out every year. But if you're going to use it, you know you're not going to use it for a long time, remove the batteries because batteries do decay, break down. You don't need no battery ass to leave it into your firing system. It uh, has a standby of 100, up to 150 hours. But if you're connected, here's your power light. Boom, boom, look at that. See that? Now we are looking at all green and red. When you have green and red, that means you have good connectivity of it being plugged in right now. If you don't see that, look, it's off, or if it's in slightly, boom. It's actually pretty good. So, of course, you mean that you know you're not using it. You know you're connected, ready to go. Uh, if you don't see both lights for some reason, that means either something's dirty here or something's wrong with your wire, something you just want to look for. But it's nice to see, I mean, that's pretty bright. You definitely can tell if you've got good connectivity in terms of connected to the unit itself from your igniter. Uh, and you know you have power, red light on. Something goes wrong, you have a little reset button right here you can press. But that's your system. Typical fuse people are going to use for backyard pyros. A little faster yellow fuse, a gray fuse you'll have. Typical visco you'll have on a cake. So what we're going to do next is, we're going to go through the little the pamphlet here. To the page, here's your battery handling and use. There's a picture of the batteries installed. You can see there's eight double or eight double A, eight D batteries. Um, you can see it says your casing. This is your connectivity status indicators. Reset button is a small button we showed. Of course, you have your power button right here. And then, of course, the other sides and backs were the other connectivity. 15 total. There's your battery powering on and off. Press in, hold, let go. And you see here, it's going through and it does a check. You actually see once in a while, it's actually double checking itself, which is kind of nice. It means it is checking. Of course, powering off, you're just going to hold it in. Powers it off. I would suggest, though, if you set everything up, you know it's going to be four or five hours for you actually shoot yet, power it off. And you know you're going to shoot again, plug in. Boom, you know you're good to go. Check out your status indicators, you're on. And then, you know, of course, check connectivity with your phone, which we'll get to next. So what we got to do now is, it is Bluetooth. We're going to follow this right here, pair link user pro device. Basically, um, we're going to turn the phone on. We're going to follow through whatever it says. But I did read that I'm going to have to do an email to get registered. So I might have to stop, do the registration of the email, and then we'll get back to you on that. But we'll follow through, and we'll see how it goes setting up to connect to the phone. All right. All right, so here we go. App, I already did an email. It goes to an activation email. So here we go. If I go too fast, hit pause if you want to read this. Safety glasses, always important. Never use items next to outdoors and clear area away from buildings and vehicles. Never carry fireworks in your pocket or shoot them into metal or glass containers. Alright. Firing device, let's turn it on. Oops. That device is on. Boom. Firing device. That is it. Enter your module passcode, which I found actually needs to be six zeros and not five. So if you're seeing this, make sure you put six zeros in the pair. There it is. Enter your module's passcode. It's going to be one, two. See, if you do five, like it says in the, the book, watch. Connect. See, it says it needs to be six characters. So you got to make sure you got six characters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Connect. Connecting to device. Boom, you're connected now to your Firefly system. Right there. Okay, so there you go. So, what you can do from here is you can create a show. Add cues, add music, you can import music from your library. 
which I already denied before because I just don't I don't have any music on this phone, my work phone. Manual firing, you're connected and you can swipe the fire, which we'll do outside. Important when you're looking if you're using this, this is your signal strength to your unit over here. So if you're going too far away and you see no dots up here, you need to move closer to it. Remember your max Bluetooth distance is 60 feet. I would say honestly, you want to be within 25 to 30 feet just to make sure you're correct. Um, but yeah, that's just me for Bluetooth. Settings, your passcode, you know, if you want to change your device name, call it Firefly or whatever your name is for you have a call it. like me, I'd say oh, that's Pyronation, you know. Boom. You import a show, which is take a picture of something, you can basically boom, it imports it. We're just gonna cancel out of that. You can create a show, which we did before said. Import your music, you add cues, submit, it creates a show. You can rename it up here, rename what the show you want to call it. But there you go. That is the Firefly system. We are connected, it was painless. Uh, you do have to do an activation email, which isn't too hard. You're gonna connect either via Facebook or Gmail or a new account. But there you go. So, our next step is to take it outside and we're going to test it out. All right. Firefly. All right. Well, it's finally not raining on a day. Unfortunately, due to my schedule and limited time to get this done, we're going to do a small little fountain during the daytime just so you can see Firefly and how it operates. Um, one thing I forgot to tell you guys is when you're looking at your cues, see that little marking right here? Let's see if I can get over here. There's a little marking by this one. That starts your cues. So that's going to be one. You see, we're using a shorter one attached at the top right there. Turn this on. Connected. Both lights are on. up to the tripod so I can a little bit here it's a little darker all right so proceed firing device there it is. One, two, three, oops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Remember it's six zeros, not five. Done. Connect. All right, so it's manual fire. There it is. You see how that one's lit up green? It means that one is ready to go. On cue one, swipe to fire. There you go. It lit. Look at that. That actually wasn't too bad. That's actually kind of convenient. Not too shabby. A cheap little... Whoa! Check that out. I was not expecting that. I'll just do one of these later then. So that stinger fountain kind of has a little fountain then it blows up basically and has ground blooms on the bottom of it. All right. So, but that was kind of convenient. Very easy to actually use this thing. I'm kind of impressed. But, uh, so remember, you gotta swipe the fire and then hit the fire button. That is Firefly. So I was curious to see how much impact the fuse would have when it burns. And you're definitely going to use once, and I would definitely want to clean just to make sure you do get good contact next time. Um, cotton swabs, they say. Uh, but, uh, I mean, that's definitely your ignition point right there. But it works. It actually worked really well, even with a smaller fuse from a, um, a, uh, a fountain. And I, wiped, I cleaned this up pretty good. It already had some, had some residue on it. Uh, I do have a little concern, though, about these cables, about how... They're gonna hold up because just a little bit of heat did start to melt some of it. Um, other than that, I mean, I know these are these can be bought and replaced uh, and reused as long as you don't have an issue. But yeah, simple little cleaning. Here, I'll do a little wipe on it real quick just to see how well it'll clean up. Now I'm using a 
a basically a diaper wipe. It's got, you know, it's a little damp. It has a little bit of isopropyl on there, so it cleans stuff up a little easier. So, but it cleaned up rather quickly. And there's a little bit of residue right there. But, all right, there you go. All right, that is your Firefly system. It definitely is easy to use. Remember, swipe and then press fire. Uh, you got your, your D batteries, you need eight of those. Remember to use a six digit 0000, not the five. But all right guys, Firefly Bluetooth system. What is up Power Nation? So we're here with a recap of the Firefly Bluetooth firing system. Number one, it uses eight D batteries for its power source, which give you up to 300 ignitions, up to 150 hours of standby, which means it can be sitting there powered on, but not being used. The red power light, of course, in front means it's on. Make sure you do have power before you try to use it. Make sure you do have your Bluetooth on your phone to connect to it. Green red lights on the queue mean you have a good connection, that it, your, well, the, the, the igniter is connected to it. Igniters are reusable, but cleaning is important, as you see in the video, uh, just to make sure you do get proper ignition for next time. Uh, remember, Bluetooth devices do have a max distance for the connectivity. Uh, they say 60 feet is max, but feel comfortable always cutting that in half. But always test your location first where you plan on placing the firing system and where you're going to be standing. Uh, the arrow on the right side, as you saw in there when we before we went and did the fountain, denotes there's an arrow. That means it's Q1, and you basically wrap around 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is, you know, 1 through 15, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all that stuff. Uh, when you're ready to fire, remember you got to swipe first and then press the red firing button, not just swiping, all right? But uh, otherwise, it actually was a easy to use system. Um, you know, there's a couple issues where you got to make sure that it's six zeros and not five zeros for your password to connect. Uh, but other than that, it actually was pretty simplistic, actually. Um, enjoy. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the review. I wish I would have had better weather and more time to do this. It's just working nights cut down on that but all right guys enjoy uh happy fourth and i will see you guys later